Hello, good evening, friends. Okay, so welcome to Essential Perspectives. I hope you guys are having had an amazing day and I just kind of wanted to go over a few things because you know we've had the second wave of um, the winter ickies happening and I've gotten lots of questions on um, different ways that we can help support our our system. Hey Jamee. Um, so I'm just gonna go over really some of a, a few short tips that work really great with I, our family. So uh, winter wellness begins with the daily use of Young Living supplements. Um, these are my top choices that we use a lot. Hi, Gail. And I'm, I know Gail and Sherry. Hey, Sherry and Jamee use them too. So our these are the things that we keep on hand um, all the time is our Ninja Red, Inner Defense, um, the master formula or the, tr I can't, now I'm like forgetting what it's called, but the multivitamin. Um, then also our enzymes like sulfurzyme, uh, multigreens, mineral essence, and life five. So those are kind of my top um, supplements that we take on a regular basis just to keep above the wellness line. So here is a tip. So when you start to kind of feel, you know, that tickle in your throat, the congestion or um, not feeling great, uh, this is, this is really important to remember. If you can increase your Ninja uh, from four to eight ounces a day and then up your Sulfurzyme by two capsules four times a day and your Multigreen capsules up to three, three to four times a day. I know that might sound a lot, like a lot, but when this is kind of like what I do when um, I just know I'm about to start getting sick. And um, it helps tremendously if you can get all the, the supplements in to help with like the nutritional needs um, and you don't use as many, you know, tons amounts of oils. So again, that's increasing your Ninja Red um, to four to eight ounces per day. Your Sulfurzyme two capsules, three to four times a day. Multigreens, three capsules, three to four times a day. So that is what I do with the supplements. And I, um, I don't know if any of you guys were in our Ninja Red challenge but one thing that's been that I really like doing with the kids is I have a a ring pop mold that you can make you know popsicle ring pops and I'll put the ninja red in there and then I open up the capsules and I do put I put life nine I put multi-greens in there um I'll even do the a couple of drops of the mineral essence in there as well so they're getting it too <clears throat> so let's talk about kind of the head and nose discomfort. Um, diffusing peppermint, RC, or even pan away is really great. Um, it is also helpful to dilute those oils if, if you choose to dilute. I typically don't dilute, um, but that's just me and I've been using oils for a really long time. Um, and you, and just, you know, concentrating right here, like right, I'll put the oil right here on my sinuses, um, and then I kind of rub out and down, and out and down. <laughs> so just kind of getting these this tube and this lymphatic area right here in my neck um, released. Uh, also using and massaging RC, peppermint, or even Raven on the, on the outside of the upper mouth and the jaw. It all connects with your sinuses and like con congestion. So, and making sure that when you, when you rub it and you apply it, you, you follow these tubes because this is the drainage system right here. 
Okay, so when we um, are dealing with the F bomb, <laughs> not the real F bomb, but the other F bomb, because we can't say it, um, the winter F bomb. Okay, so it is helpful to dilute if you like to dilute or apply uh, anything like Thieves, RC, or Raven. Um, we like to put them on the bottom of the feet and then along the spine and on the chest area. And this is a really good tip. Really good best results are often found by rotating the oils at each application. So like Thieves on the feet, Raven on the spine, RC on the chest, um, about every two to four hours. And then later, Raven on the feet, RC on the spine, and Thieves on the chest. So just kind of think about that, like you're, where you're not applying at the same place every time, especially when you're dealing with, um, you know, you're starting to get sick, you're just kind of want to rotate these things. Um, so here is what we, or what we call the yucky balm. So it's a capsule, especially this is something if you don't have inner defense, um, 12, do 12 drops of thieves, six oregano, and two frequence, fra oh my gosh, frankincense and a capsule, so vit vitality. Um, and you can really take those, here's the thing, I can't get sick. None of us can afford to get sick. So I just take, you know, a couple of capsules a day. I'll take one morning, noon, and night, depending how I'm feeling. Um, I think a lot of us, especially, I mean, I'm talking from me and my experience with having to take care of six children in general. Um, sometimes I will let up on, if I'm not feeling well, I will, I kind of stop when I'm feeling a little bit better, and that is the worst thing that you can do. You just need to keep on supporting your system for at least another day or two. Don't stop just because you kind of start feeling better. Okay, so coughing and congestion. A lot of things with this, and especially since I deal with kids with uh, or one child who our, our main um, story is respiratory issues, the dry cough versus having a productive cough. So we know that when we're dealing in this season, we want to have a productive cough so we can get it out. Um, so again, going back to diffusing RC, Raven, or Thieves, and then adding one to two drops of peppermint to any of those makes an excellent um, support for the respiratory system when you're, when you're having lots of coughing. Um, it is also helpful to dilute if you feel like diluting and apply any of those oils also on the bottom of the feet, the spine and the chest. And again, rotating those oils like we discussed just a bit ago. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> thieves tea. So if you haven't heard, I know all of you on here have heard about Thieves Tea. So one to two drops of Thieves, one to two drops of lemon. I like to add Copaiba also because, you know, these areas just kind of get inflamed when it has all that stuff it's trying to um, get out. So one to two drops of Copaiba and then you can add honey to taste to make it a little bit uh, sweeter. I do have a difficult time getting my kids to drink um, the oils and in, in, in the tea and the hot tea. My older ones will, but my younger ones don't. So, uh, like some things that you could do with children is you could, you know, even I, you know, adding cream. I like cream in my tea or milk. Um, and then let's see. Hold on, I have this right now. Okay, so here's how you do it. So you add. The honey to taste so with children fill the teacup with the essential oils first then honey and then put your hot water in don't put the hot water in and then add it you know add your oils and your honey um do it the opposite way 
Also when you're filling your diffuser too, put the oils in the diffuser and then add the water. It just kind of helps mix it all so that it's not like laying at the top of the surface because even with your diffuser, your oils will, if you add them in, um, like I have a cup, a little pitcher cup that I pour it in. If you put the oils in the water, they just kind of lay there on the surface and that's the first thing that the diffuser is going to diffuse and it'll diffuse all your oils first. Um, so put your oils in first, then add the water. Okay. Uh, okay, lemon is really, 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 really good for the congestion in your throat and in the sinuses and all that kinds of stuff. So definitely drinking lemon. Um, there's this one thing that a, a friend of mine taught me years ago. Uh, we called it the Sammy. It was just the name that she made for it, but it was, um, she put some honey on a teaspoon and then she put like one or two drops of lemon or one or two drops of thieves. And then she put the spoon of honey in her mouth and then just kind of hold it to the roof of her mouth. And like if you're somebody who likes, you know how we just chew on cough drops and things like that, it really helps. It's, it's really, it really helps a lot. Sorry, you guys, I'm super tired. <laughs> um, so that's called the Sammy. Yes, you can tell the difference with the oils, can't you, Gil? Okay, so let's talk about um, when your body starts to heat up to rid itself of infection. <laughs> starts with an F. We've got a lot of F-bombs in this show. So it is really helpful using peppermint. Um, I, you know, with little babies, I do dilute or younger ones, um, me and Christian and older kids, but applying peppermint to the spine every couple of hours and to the belly button and to the bottoms of the feet. And basically what that does is that helps bring um, the body temperature down so peppermint will not completely eliminate that heat. It will just bring it down to a safe level so that the body can use um, that type of issue to kill off the germs. Because we know that fevers have a purpose, they serve a purpose. So that's one thing. And I don't know if you guys, I meant to, um, oh, I might have to go back and look for it. There was an article that just came out, well, not an article, it was like an emergency alert that something with Tylenol that they're putting in Tylenol has actually caused uh, quite a few deaths recently, and that's seriously alarming. So I can put that in there. I meant to have it pulled up. Hold on, maybe, let me let me look real quick. Um, because it's like, oh, all this stuff. Um, okay, so here was, here's what it was. Uh, something with Tylenol, also known as Tylenol and other names. Be careful not to take the, um, I don't even know what that word is. Sorry, I'm just going to. <sighs> okay, I'll do that later. Anyway, Tylenol, but we all kind of know that. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm all discombobulated. Okay, back to the fevers. Also things like diffusing, we know that diffusing can help, you know, keep us comfortable. Um, just helping with that, with our immune system in general. Some, some great things to diffuse are things like peppermint, frankincense, thieves, Melrose. Melrose is a must have for us all the time. I, th I don't think we talk about that oil enough, um, but it is amazing. And Raven. So again, applying these oils to the throat and the chest, the back, the bottom of the feet, and then rotating like we discussed earlier. Um, then Thieves Tea, 
And also things like um, using the Thieves Spray or the mouthwash. I really like to use the mouthwash. Uh, put it in a bottle or a spray bottle instead of the mouthwash and just kind of spray the back of the throat. So ear, support with the ears. Melrose is fantastic. It's my favorite for the ears. So just, again, you know, applying around here and then making sure that we rub down the sides of the neck. And other oils are great, like lavender, frankincense, purification, uh, Panaway, Copaiba, Peppermint. Uh, we don't like to put oils directly in our ears. If we do, one thing, we did deal with some swimmer's ear this past summer. Because earache issues, we haven't really dealt with a whole lot, thankfully. Um, but putting like a little drop of peppermint or Melrose, again, Melrose is my favorite, on like a, um, a cotton ball. And then just putting the, yeah, the Wet Willie Gail putting the cotton ball in the ear, or like the wet willy, you just kind of tip your bottle over and then just kind of rub it on the insides. Cause all that stuff, that pressure and all of that is just, it's inflammation and it can be painful. Um, eye issues. So the eye issues that go around, especially with kids during the season, um, I do dilute with the kids if it's me, I don't necessarily know that I would, but just because I would forget. But, you know, Melrose, and we like to raccoon around the eyes. So, like, making a big raccoon. Melrose, lavender, uh, frankincense, and even on the bridge of the nose, and the brow bone, the cheekbones, the temple, all these areas. Like, I think we just... Okay, I'm gonna say I do this. I get lazy. I have these seasons where I'm really, really good, and then there's just seasons where I'm lazy. And so I'll just do the rush job where I'll like just put it on my forehead, or I'll just, you know, brush it across my face and around my neck, and then I'm done. But really taking time out to focus on those areas and just really massaging just makes a world of difference. Um, so with kids, I really like to use lavender and frankincense around the oils or around the eyes diluted. Okay, supporting our stomach during this seasonal time. Yep, and the nose swipe, the nose swipe with animal scents and the Egyptian gold, and we pick our nose. <laughs> it helps, I'm telling ya. So our favorite oils for tummy issues are Digize and Peppermint. And you know on the Vitaflex point on the feet is gonna be on the arches of the feet. So we don't ever forget the feet. That's like my main MO. Like you put it on the area that's you know bothering or hurting and then applying on the feet as well. Uh, you can put Digize, one drop of Digize or peppermint in a glass of water and sip on that. And even or even underneath the tongue. So for some other discomfort down in the stomach area, um, 10 drops of Digize in a capsule. And then you can fill the rest of the capsule up with the carrier oil. Um, I like to just put it on my tongue a lot or, or sip it in, in water or hot water. And then our detox baths, that's my last tip. Um, it is really important to start to remove those toxins out of our body when we're starting to you know, use our supplements and our oils to try to push them out. And then detoxing, our detox baths really help to pull out the rest of that gunk that the oils are already pulling to the surface. So we like to do the four cups Epsom salt, four cups baking soda, and four cups hydrogen peroxide. And then you just kind of sit in the bath for 20 minutes, you know, kind of as hot as you can stand it, or um, I don't know who likes to take cold baths, but um, just kind of sit in there. Um, you can put oils in the bath also. I like to, you know, use things that are, you know, not citrusy. Um, so things like frankincense, copaiba is really good. 
Um, and when we are dealing with sickness, we will take at least one detox bath a day until we really feel that shift um, of really feeling better. So those are my main winter wellness tips and essentials. And um, I am working on a couple of, um, it's, it's been difficult for me to try to find a new topic to teach about every week. So if you ladies have any suggestions, I would love to hear them because I know I do my own research on a regular basis, but it may not be necessarily things that you all want to hear. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you have any um, main interests or topics and you guys have an amazing night. I love you all and we will see you on Facebook or next Monday. Have a great night. This darn thing.